After a careful review of the cases of blood clots combined with the low platelets reported after vaccination with Janssen's COVID-19 vaccine, the PRAC has concluded that there is a possible link between the occurrence of these blood, blood clots combined with the low levels of blood platelets, thrombocytopenia, and the vaccination with the COVID-19 vaccine, Janssen. The product information will be updated to reflect this information and will include a warning and an update of the side effects. I will take this opportunity to provide you with some more details on the review by the Pharmacovigilance Risk Assessment Committee. At this moment, we have um, reviewed the available data and the evaluation of these data revealed eight case reports of interest, which included severe cases of venous thrombosis, mostly at unusual sites, such as cerebral venous sinus thrombosis, CVST, splenchic vein thrombosis, which is in the abdomen, as well as arterial thrombosis. And what's very important with these cases at, uh, is that they all had concomitant uh, thrombocytopenia, low platelets levels. All the reported cases occurred in the US, as you heard before, and one of these events was already reported in the clinical trials, while seven uh, occurred after the rollout of the vaccine in the United States. And um, uh, at this moment, um, there have been more than 7 million people vaccinated with Janssen COVID vaccine in the United States. The reported cases occurred mostly in women under 60 years and within the first three weeks after the vaccination. A fatal outcome has been reported. The careful review of the cases and other available evidence have led the committee to the conclusion that these blood clotting disorders are very rare side effects of the vaccine. However, our work does not stop here. We will analyze any new data and any new evidence as it becomes available and provide updated guidance as needed. At this moment, it's not possible to identify clear risk factors for the occurrence of these very rare events, such as gender or age. The most plausible hypothesis, as we have seen with the AstraZeneca vaccine, is an immune response that leads to a condition similar to a typical heparin-induced thrombocytopenia hit. It's very important that healthcare professionals and those people coming for vaccination are aware of the possibility that these risks may occur and that they should look out for possible signs and symptoms that usually occur within the first two to three weeks following vaccination. These symptoms include shortness of breath, chest pain, swelling in the leg, persistent abdominal pain, neurological symptoms, including severe or persistent headaches or blurred vision, skin bruising beyond the site of injection. People experiencing any of these symptoms after vaccination should seek medical assistance. If treated early, healthcare professionals can help those affected in their recovery and avoid further complications. Blood clots which occur in combination with low levels of blood platelets require specialist clinical management. Healthcare professionals should consult applicable guidance and or consult specialists, for example, hematologists, a specialist in coagulation to diagnose and treat these cases. In clinical trials that supported the uh, uh, conditional marketing application, the CHMP assessed that the benefits of the vaccine outweigh the risks and that the Janssen COVID vaccine is effective in preventing infections caused by COVID, a very serious disease.